Assalamualaikum guys, so do you want to start off by introducing yourselves? Hey, I'm Ibrahim Dumia, hey, I'm the head of volunteer at Nuka Centre Mosque. I'm Naeem, head of Tawa. And do you want to tell us a little bit about your relationship with Newcastle Central Mosque? Uh, I came across Newcastle Central Mosque through a friend that introduced me to a masjid. Uh, basically, he needed somebody to teach, uh, to teach them uh, Thai boxing. And when we had the, the big, the big uh, building, the historian building, and that's where we started. And then the rest is history. And yourself, name? It's been ten years. I'm connected with the masjid. So my first, uh, like, I came to a lecture, and I saw there's a free food. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, like you know, kept me uh, like you know, connected with the masjid and alhamdulillah all my family connected with the masjid now. So alhamdulillah guys, that was a very short biography because I know you, both of you brothers are very active within the masjid. So do you want to share a little bit about some of the things you get up to as volunteers with the masjid? Uh, first of all, volunteer for a masjid is, is fun, uh, it's hard, it's, it, can be, uh, uh, it can be frustrating but it also is rewarding. Uh, we volunteer with so many activities we are part of, uh, including educational dinner, uh, masjid mania, and, and lectures, and aid that's coming up as well, and, and kid, kid martial arts, and so many activities we are involved. We cannot uh, uh, tell you all of them, but it's quite a lot. Okay, so if you're doing all these amazing activities, why do you need the new mosque? Yeah, exactly, that's the reason why we need new ones because the facilities are not great. As you can see, and sometimes even when people come to pray, you see people you know, praying in the, in the corridor. And uh, I remember when COVID came along, we had people praying in, in, in the madrasa. So it's quite it's tight, we don't have a facility. Normally, we, even with kid activities, we do it all in here, in the prayer room. So we don't want that, we want you know, a perfect place for all of that. So we'll just show you guys the current facilities. Uh, and then Brother Naeem, just to add uh, anything else or any other reasons why I think people should donate on Tuesday? Yeah, definitely, because we do a lot of uh, activity for Muslim and non-Muslim, uh, Ibrahim mentioned. I think just before COVID, uh, once we counted, more than 10,000 school students visited our masjid. So I think we're doing uh, a lot of activities so to make it uh, more bigger with a uh, new masjid. Uh, another thing as well we do is, is food, food distribution and as everybody is aware of the living cost so we must uh, provide food for, for anyone that's Muslim, non-Muslim that, that is in, in need of food so we do that monthly and we, during COVID we moved online we did some, uh, what do you call it, mind the mind so that was like a, a mental health issues where we support people that had issues and we also supported uh, the people who were isolated uh, we had a team that used to call them, to, to talk to them, to, to keep them busy, basically. So a lot, a lot of activity we can all relate all of them. Cool. Exactly.